Imagine a world where over 100 species disappear every day. This isn't a dystopian fantasy. It's the alarming reality of our present day environment. We exist in a time where our planet's lungs, the forests, are being decimated at a rate of 27 soccer fields per minute. A world that is heating up, with the last five years being the warmest in recorded history, resulting in rising sea levels and extreme weather events that devastate communities worldwide. We are part of a global society where plastic pollution is so pervasive that it's estimated there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean by the middle of this century. These aren't mere statistics, they paint a picture of a planet in crisis. In the face of such staggering numbers, one might wonder, what role do we humans play in all this? And what can we do about it? Our everyday choices have far-reaching implications. Let's delve into some real-life case studies that illustrate this. Imagine a world without the vibrant colours of coral reefs, or the rich diversity of rainforest fauna. These are not far-off fantasies, but stark realities unfolding before our very eyes. In the Pacific Ocean, a haunting testament to our love affair with convenience, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a swirling vortex of plastic debris, suffocates marine life and disrupts ecosystems. This is not the work of a single day or a single person, but the cumulative effect of countless discarded water bottles, shopping bags and disposable cutlery. Now, let's journey to the heart of the Amazon, often dubbed the lungs of the earth. Decades of rampant deforestation for agriculture and logging have turned large swathes of this once thriving jungle into barren land. The result? A staggering loss of biodiversity, with species going extinct before we even knew they existed. But the effects of these actions ripple beyond the immediate environment. The loss of forests leads to increased carbon dioxide levels, exacerbating climate change. The death of marine life disrupts food chains, impacting communities worldwide. These stories are not meant to induce guilt, but to inspire action. They are a stark reminder of the consequences of our actions. But they also hint at the power we hold to make a difference. Every choice, every action, no matter how small, can contribute to a healthier, more sustainable planet. And that, in essence, is the crux of environmental ethics. Now that we've seen the impact of our actions, it's time to reflect on our attitudes towards the environment. The lens through which we view our natural world shapes how we interact with it. Our environmental ethics, so to speak, guide our actions and decisions. Consider anthropocentrism, the belief that human interests come first. This perspective often results in exploitation of natural resources without regard for the environmental consequences. It's the mindset that has led to deforestation, air and water pollution and the extinction of countless species. On the other hand, there's biocentrism, a philosophy that recognises the inherent value of all living creatures, not just humans. This perspective encourages respect for all life, promoting conservation and sustainable living. Then there's ecocentrism, a viewpoint that extends beyond individual organisms to include entire ecosystems. Ecocentrism argues that we must protect our environment as a whole, including the air we breathe, the water we drink and the soil that nourishes us. So what can we do to shift our environmental ethics? It starts with awareness, followed by action. Small changes like reducing our waste, recycling, adopting a plant-based diet or using renewable energy can make a big difference. But it's not just about individual actions. We must also advocate for systemic changes that promote sustainability and environmental justice. The choice is yours. Will you be a part of the problem or the solution?